I wrote this little story in, uh, a, called The Evening Gorgeous George Died. And uh, it was about a, a man and woman who were writers and they were alcoholics and they were having a hard time with their marriage. And <clears throat> so I, I built the piece out of uh, four really box-like tableaus and uh, put the text on the wall. So there were three pages of text and three tableaus with a little fourth piece in the middle. And then I did four drawings across the room from it that, uh, and it was called uh, The Evening Gorgeous George Died was a, the name of the piece. And I really liked it because it was so totally different than what I'd done before. It was really sparse and, and uh, uh, just a, really utilizing a story. And I took that same story and turned it into a script and for uh, actually for, uh, a book for a theater piece. <clears throat> and at, at the same time, it was a couple of years later, I was invited to be in the American Narrative and Story Art thing in uh, Houston. And so we wanted to stage it, I wanted to stage this uh, uh, script that I brought. So we got a wrestling ring and got wrestlers and got actors and, and uh, uh, the piece is, um, has a lot of taped music, has a, uh, slides that were presented during it and then uh, action. And it was funny because I grew up around wrestling. My dad, uh, as well as having music uh, shows, uh, every Wednesday night had wrestling matches. And so I worked out there from the time I was a little kid selling Cokes and things like that. But uh, I remember when uh, uh, I decided to do this piece in Houston that I needed to get a ring and I need to get wrestlers. So I went to the local promoter and I asked him, uh, you know where I could get them, but he reminded me totally of my dad. He you know, had this room with all these goofy trophies and photographs of him with you know midget wrestlers and and uh, <clears throat> and so anyway, he got the ring and he got. Uh, uh, well, I have to go back uh, when my, when my dad was dying, uh, he had at come he had offered me his business, you know and. Did I tell you all this story before? No. He, 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 he was, and it he, he wasn't like a guilt thing. I was about 15, and, he, and so he called me in the room, and he said he'd give me this, this wrestling business that, and uh, arena that he had and put it in some kind of trust or whatever and hold it for me. Uh, and so I would, you know, 15 years old, I really wasn't big on being a wrestling promoter. And, uh, I, you know, I told him no. And uh, so he said he'd sell it and whatever, which he did. But uh, then years later, uh, I'd gone to this wrestling promoter and whatever, and then I was putting on this piece. Uh, and it wasn't until right in the middle of rehearsing with these wrestlers in the, in the wrestling ring, that I realized I was doing the exact same thing that my dad did, you know. And, and I kind of thought that that's really what art does, you know. It takes you from one place and takes you back to the same place, but all different, you know. Uh, you come in, everything comes from a, another angle, you know. I need money. I need 